Hi, Chris here with Fancy, and we are going to work on her uh, muzzle. And as part of her muzzle trimming, we're going to go ahead and trim her cheeks and throat as well. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is pull that lead down as far as you can so that you can get to about uh, four fingers from the Adam's apple. One, two, three, four. Okay. And it also, the other thought that you need to, to have in your mind is that when you, whenever you set this line here, the coat that's left has to create that pretty four chest. And if you go too low, oh, if you go way too low, you're not going to have all this coat to create the line because the longest point when viewed from the side should be in alignment with her point of shoulder. Okay, and if you cut all this off, it's not going to be there. All right, and then all you're going to look like is you've got a little underline. So keep that line four finger lengths or so, and you might tweak it a little bit depending on the dog. You're going to use that 10 blade against. Things to be thinking about while you're using the 10 blade against is, you know, what are her cheeks like? Are her cheeks flat? And if they are, great. But what if she has big cheeks? Maybe I'm not going to use the 10 blade against on the muzzle. Maybe rather than what I'm doing with the 10 blade, I might pop on a 7F. Or I might even use thinning shears and then just clean up the lip line with the 10 blade. Pull this bottom lip out with the 10 blade and clean that up because you want to make sure that it looks as full as possible from the um, ear forward. Okay, see how her lips fill that out? That's what you're looking for, okay? Then you're going to blend this in and you're going to make sure that um, you've got the line from behind the ear comes down into your throat. And other things to think about, make sure that you cleaned up the, the end of the nose. Make sure that you've um, worked on the end of the, the chin. And depending on the dog's structure, if they've got an overbite or underbite, you're going to adjust how long you go here. Um, if they need under jaw, you're going to do a 7F. If they've they're got a bad um, undershot bite, you might take a 40 blade right here on that lip line. So there's just lots of things to think about, but primarily four fingers from the top of the ear to the outside corner of the eye and adjust that accordingly. And then the cheeks seven or ten against and the muzzle will be close to um, typically a ten against or seven F against with blending shears. Level plane on the nose. You want to see a level plane even with the skull at a level plane. Thanks.